Hi guys, today we're going to be working on the Cinderella gradient and I decided to call it that because I'm using colors from the Orly Color Blast Cinderella collection. This was originally kind of inspired by the 2016 Pantone colors of the year, but once I got them on my nails, the pink was a lot lighter and the blue looked more purple. So I have a kind of replacement design that'll be coming in a few days that is more true to those actual colors. But if you'd like to see how I did this design, just stay tuned. Starting out with clean, dry nails. First thing, of course, is going to be to apply a base coat. I'm using Gripper, which is discontinued, and you can use whichever base coat is your favorite. And as has kind of become a tradition for me, I did do a New Year's chop on my nails. Not too much on the left side because they were already fairly short and because I actually have no breaks on my left hand right now. But um, you can see my right hand is quite a bit shorter because I wanted to get rid of the break on my ring finger. So... Usually I don't like having my hands in different lengths, but each hand is about the same length. So, um, yeah. Next is going to be to protect around the nails with liquid latex. This is optional, but does make cleaning up a lot easier. Or you could also use tape to protect around the sides. I may come to regret this, but next I'm going directly into the sponging. I'm not using a base color, and I'm using Orly Color Blast A Dream is a Wish, and Orly Color Blast Cinderella Cinderella. So I'm just going to start applying those. Got a regular makeup sponge. The pink is going to be toward my cuticle, the blue is going to be toward the tip, and like I said, I may come to regret this, but I'm just going to go for it, and probably end up having to do two or three or maybe more layers. After removing the latex, as you saw, I cleaned up around the edges a little bit more with a little small brush and some acetone, and I'm going to finish off with Sesh Feet. So here's the finished manicure, and in hindsight, I really should have used a base color. Not sure what I was thinking, other than I didn't expect to have as much trouble as I did with the blue. Even with a couple layers that were just the blue, I had quite a bit of trouble getting it opaque at my tips. But the finished manicure doesn't feel overly thick, even with as many layers of sponging as I did. I'd love to hear what you guys think down in the comments. I hope you all enjoyed, and as always... Thanks for watching.